We just got our hands on the indictment about an hour ago. It's 29 counts, 32 pages. It deals with wire fraud and tax evasion. Essentially what it says is that there was a widow who inherited a landscaping company on the West Bank of Jefferson Parish. Chris Roberts went to work for her as a general manager. He wrote checks to himself. He committed fraud. He stole large sums of money from that company. He used it to buy drones, a container for his fireworks uh, company. He bought a diamond ring, a $16,000 two-carat diamond ring. And all of this came to light in the re-election campaign, his re-election campaign in 2015. It was pointed out by his opponent that he had not filed tax returns for 2010 through 2013. He filed tax returns at that time, but he substantially underreported his income. When the federal investigation was made known to him in 2017, he did an amended return, as an example, 2013 income tax returns, which he didn't file the amended return until January of 2018. He reported $188,759 on his first return, but when he did the amended return, it was three times that amount, 568000 And part of this, actually, he kind of sort of almost self-indicted himself by reporting some of this to the uh, State Ethics Board. It, it looks, looks like. like, according to the indictment, he reported many of the correct amounts to the Louisiana Board of Ethics. But he certainly, according to the indictment, substantially underreported his income on his federal tax returns, which he did not file timely. He filed tardy, and then he amended, and he still substantially reduced his income. And we've got a wrap, and, um, but one other item we should note is that this is a, uh, uh, it's not a, a bill of information, so it doesn't sound like he's working with the feds. Word on the street was that this was going to be a one-count bill of information. It was going to be real simple. This is not simple. This is very complicated. It has some similarities to the Ray Nagan indictment, but it does not include any activities as a councilman. Okay. That's the latest for now. Reporting live at the federal courthouse with Chick-4A, Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News.